All right, much to brew about nothing. Playing some turn to kill soul eater combo in modern. We'll play first, and no castable creatures, so we got to ship that one. Uh, I don't know if we can keep this one either. We don't have any colored mana, and we don't have that many mana sources. Like if we knew we could scry into. Ugh. If we're on the draw, it would be okay. Uh, I guess we gotta keep looting. We just gotta hope we scry into colored mana. Hopefully not another gemstone caverns. That would be really bad. Plains and, oh no, this is eggs land. Uh, all right. Well, 14 lands is not very many. Iker Wellspring draws our opponent a card. Chancellor of the Tangle, pass. Well, we're probably going to scoop early in this one. I don't really want our opponent to see what we're up to. If we draw land this turn, we'll try it. Codex Shredder. Well, let's probe. I don't think that's giving away too much information. Acre Wellspring, Face Reward, and Ironworks. Yeah. Gemstone mine. The thing is, they get to play Ironworks. Well, we could try it. So we can just play Emulating Soul Eater. Our opponent can play Ironworks, but they might not have the mana for face reward. But they get to draw a card. Draw. Alright, we're gonna... Whatever. Alright. Our opponent can know what's up. I think there is some slight chance that they can't combo this turn, and if they have to wait one more turn, then we should be able to kill them. There's the Ironworks, so let's see if they actually can... I don't think they have the colored mana, right? For face reward. Sack Sack. Once they draw into a colored mana source. So that's Mox Opal. All right. All right. We'll scoop it up. We didn't think they I didn't think they had the white mana and they didn't have the white mana, but they went for it anyway and uh, got there. Um I guess we can bring in Leyline of Sanctity. And probably go down Apostle's Blessing. I don't think our opponent actually no Distortion Strike is probably even worse. Because I don't think our opponent is going to be blocking. Leave the Apostles' Blessings. Let's just try it like that. Hope we get a aggressive, aggressive start. That was kind of a rough mulligan. Alright, we get to play first. Uh, Alright. We have a Kiln Fiend on turn one. And then we'll see what happens from there. So let's just go Tendo Ice Bridge, Exile Spirit Guide, Kiln Fiend, pass the turn. So our opponent's deck is really consistent in winning on like turn three or four, but not good at all at winning before then. Opal. So if we can win right here, oh god. Well, maybe we give it one more turn. Let's get in with Kiln Fiend. Play Gemstone Mine. Play second Kiln Fiend. And just plan on winning even without Double Strike. That turn we would have had to like Faithless Looting into Spell Plus. Tainted Remedy or something? Tainted Pact? Tainted Strike. <laughs> Went through all the Tainids before I got there. But now I think we just win here, most likely. So, we lead on Faith is Looting. Pump up our Kiln Fiends. Discard Mountain, Nintendo Ice Bridge. Gemstone Mine. Apostle's Blessing for Two Life. Trigger our Kiln Fiends. Give it pro white, I guess. And then Tainted Strike. For the win. 
<laughs> we would have killed our opponent with regular damage with any spell there, but that works. So it seems like this could be a good matchup, just because their deck is slow, but it depends on our deck being fast. How do we speed this up? On the draw, Gemstone's Caverns is pretty good. Pact of Negation doesn't seem that great. They shouldn't have too much inter uh, instant speed interaction. Maybe we just go down the Packs of Negation and go up Distortion Strikes as additional spells to trigger our stuff. Try it like that. Even though Unblockable isn't really relevant. Uh, zero lander, zero mana, so we got a mulligan. Uh, this hand's actually pretty good. So we get to keep. Scry, uh, do we want gemstone cavern? Do we need the land? Probably. So what we're going to do is we're going to reveal Chancellor, play gemstone caverns, exiling Chancellor. Then turn two, we soul leader play a land, and then basically we need a double strike spell. Can we win without it, though? I think we want it, because we want to be able to, like, Faithless Looting and Mana Morphos. All right, let's, let's keep Gemstone Caverns. Reveal Chancellor. Put Gemstone Caverns on the battlefield. I do like that we can exile Chancellor. That's a pretty sweet synergy. Exile the Chancellor. So now we can actually just... Soul Leader plus Faithless Looting next turn. And then, basically, if we can find Tainted Strike or a Double Strike spell, we win on turn turn two. Our opponent having Silence would be annoying. I think that's one of their Disruption spells, because it protects their combo. Chromatic Star. All right. No Silence problems. Uh, Mox Opal passes. Well, we get the Mana. Actually, let's just lead on Faithless Looting. Discard a Manamorphose and Gemstone Cavern. Play Gemstone Mine. Emulating Soul Eater. Pass the turn. So we get two redraws for our double strike spell. Chromatic Star for our opponent. Turns on their Mox Opal. Cracks Chromatic Star, it's white. And Chromatic Star. Alright, we are... Oh, Blink Moth. So they could have something. Opponent passes. We get a Kiln Fiend. Well, let's lead on Probe. See what we draw. Open the Vault's Faith's Reward Thopter Foundry. Well... Manamorphos. So we got the win here if we hit something. Let's add black red. That's assault strobe. But that's not gonna do it, is it? Oh we can play Tendo Ice Bridge. So Pump. I guess I should have added double red. I added black in case we do drew tainted strike. Five, six, seven, eight. Nine. Add red. All right, so we got there just barely. Pump for red. Assault strobe. And that is 20. Whoo, man, that was close. Oh, all right. Got the kill. On turn two. <laughs> this deck's pretty powerful. Inconsistent, but powerful.